Hey, what up America? This your boy, Bouchon Glover, Better Black America. Now, today is Wednesday, February 13th, 2019. Now, it's a little somber moment for me today because uh, uh, there was a shooting over the weekend that kind of resonated in my spirit. And by me being a man of color, a black man, and understanding dog whistle politics, and watching the different news outlets, you know, somehow put a conclusion on a story and the brother has not even had his own, has, ha, hasn't had his funeral as of yet. Because over the weekend, um, there's a young brother, USC student. I'm sure if you live in the LA area, you know, I don't, I'm not sure if it made national attention. He went to USC and um, his name is Victor McElhaney. And uh, he was gunned down on the corner of Maple and Adams, on the corner of Adams and Maple. Apparently, a group of friends, uh, they're coming from a function and decided to stop at a liquor store on the corner of Adams and Maple. And uh, some of the stories say it was approximately eight friends. And out of the eight, not sure uh, what color that they were, but Victor was the only brother in the group. Um, not sure that uh, they're not saying any of the names or anything like that, but for one of uh, for whatever reason, the young brother was gunned down. So out of the eight, he was shot and killed. And according to the L.A. Times, I read a few articles and I actually looked at the um, the news to see um, how they're spinning it. You know, because I totally had a different agenda today. This was supposed to be about entertainment, but somehow um, this lane is it's it's so wide open and the, the news and the outlets are somehow just trying to program us to not uh, shed light on the darkness. Now, Maple and uh, Adams, Adams and Maple, it was gunned down and they said it was a attempted robbery gone bad. That's what the detectives are already saying, that it's a robbery gone bad. Usually when you get robbed or you get jacked, you know, I've been robbed before. And it's like, hey, hey, handle your business, man. Hey, 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 I ain't even looking at your face, bro. Are right, you good? You know, you usually just let things go. But somehow when you end up getting shot and killed, it's a murder and it's a homicide. So when you look at the news, if you don't think outside of the box and you just allow them to program you the way that they want to program you, they actually tell you what to think. So this was a robbery went bad. So it's pretty unfortunate for him, you know, end of story. But that's not the case here because they're running a, 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 a smoke screen on it because a USC student was uh, gunned down uh, late Saturday night, early Sunday morning two miles from campus, but now the headline for today is uh, rich influential celebrities paying for paying uh, bribery money to get their students into school. That's that's might be a big story from a national perspective, but from a humanitarian perspective, that's not, you know, it's already on the back page. They had a press conference yesterday. His mother came down from Oakland, who's actually a city councilwoman, an Oakland city councilwoman, Lynette McElhaney. And I'm sure she did not think that she was going to send her child, her son, 21 year old senior uh, down to USC, one of the most prestigious universities, private institutions in the country, uh, could even global. USC has a big brand that he would die murdered in the streets and he survived Oakland, California. So this it kind of resonated with me in my heart. Because. Um, I understand dog whistle politics and I have to get the message out to the people, you know, that we have to really be honest with ourselves because no one deserves to die uh, through any type of robbery, through any type of murder, gunplay or anything like that. I grew up in, in L.A. and I remember, you know, I was around before the drive by, you know, and I remember the drive by shootings and all of that going on and game banging and all that. But on the West Side, things are changing. And they're changing, you know, rap very rapidly, um, it, it, the appearance of that. But they started this in 94 um, because um, the black men, we were super predators. We needed to be brought to heel. Um, I quote from Hillary Clinton, and that's what happened. They cleansed the community. They locked all the brothers up. They locked the crackhead up. They locked the dope dealer up. And 
now we have a influx of of gangs that have never left the east side and it's in the form of the latino and the mexican gangs you know so i'm not going to sit back and you know i'm not starting a race war or anything like that but i have to speak the truth because that particular liquor store that they went to the particular area where they went to where his body uh laid to rest he went to the hospital but when his body laid to rest there was a g b z right there on the right there on the pillar and i got images that i'm showing you while i'm talking but there there was a gbz and it stands for ghetto boys and it's a mexican american gang you know and they're crips okay and it's obvious and clear like who do you need to talk to because they said four three to four individuals okay three to four individuals uh robbed a group of usc students okay now two or more a group of people by definition is a gang now civilians don't rob people with guns gang bangers rob people with guns and i and i'm not i'm not saying that Mexicans are bad. I'm saying anybody that gang bang and that goes out and killing people is bad. So I'm not calling and making this a racial or ethnic thing. I'm basically just putting light on the truth because the truth, the proof is in the pudding. So I took a, a ride and I got images, you know, from a source that basically shows just one block up, one block south and one block north on uh, Adams and it's clearly the writing's on the wall so when they say that it was um, you know uh, a, a robbery going bad man that's that's BS okay they got jacked and the brother got shot by a member of the GB the, the GBZs the ghetto boys because that's their hub and based on information from a reliable source, that is their hub. So these USC students coming back from a function, headed back to campus, headed back to their apartments, you know. So let's go ahead and stop and get some more alcohol before we, you know, before we, get, you know, go home, stopped at the wrong spot. So it could be a wrong place, wrong time situation, but that's not cool. And something must be done. Now, the detective from the LAPD, I'm not going to say no names. He already said that possibly they were robbing him and he resisted and he got shot. No, that that's not that's not cool. This is a murder. This is a homicide because basically he's showing he's telling us what his re police report all, is already saying. He's writing his police report. This is something he's going to just hang, just going to just go ahead and finish, close out, you know, another nigga dead. 